Mateusz Musilowski passes Liverpool test as he takes next squad step. Liverpool U23's boss Barry Lutis speaks to the Echo about Mateusz Musilowski, the draw with Man City and more. On Sunday afternoon, Liverpool's U23s got their Premier League 2 campaign underway as they hosted last season's champions Manchester City. With Barry Luter's side enduring the test of the citizens as they ended the afternoon with a share of the points. Lutus insisted he was pleased with how his side coped against one of the best young sides in the country. Speaking to the Echo after the 0-0 draw, he said, yeah, we knew it was gonna be a tough game. There were certain moments of the game where, you know, it's hard to control but I thought we did okay, in spells. But I was really proud of the boys and the way they defended. As an experienced youth team manager. Lutus will know all too well about how difficult the first couple of games of a new season can be. due to players adjusting to different age groups in a club. And one of those who will be looking to minimize the acclimatization time. Following his full debut one Sunday, will be 17-year-old Polish forward Mateusz Musilowski. Despite his tender age, Musilowski is a name that will be familiar to the ears of many Reds fans following his outstanding debut campaign in English football. Where recorded 15 goal contributions in 25 outings for Mark Bridge Wilkinson's U18 side last term, in addition to helping them reach the FA Youth Cup final. Bridge Wilkinson often opted to deploy the teenage talent off the left-hand side of an attacking trio. As his low center of gravity, fantastic trickery and nimble footwork made him a nightmare for any young fullback. However, on Sunday, Lutus handed Musilowski the number 9 shirt as he thrusted him into battle against City. Tasking the Scarlet with leading the Reds line. When speaking to the Echo post-match, Lutus explained his reasoning behind the slight tactical tweak. He said, obviously, he played in a little bit of a different position and that was for tactical reasons really. We just felt maybe we could put an extra player in the middle and maybe try and get a little bit more possession. That'll be a brilliant game for him today, he'll learn an awful lot. And I think he did a lot on the other side of the game, which you know, HES going to have to develop. He should be fairly happy with his work today.
Musilovsky was part of the 34-man squad that Jurgen Klopp took out to Austria over the summer for the early stages of pre-season and despite not playing. Due to injury, it was a fantastic evaluation of just how far the youngster has come since he made the switch from SMS Woods last summer. And despite his youthful age, learning to play in a handful of the front positions so early in his career could make Musilovsky's future first team quest more realistic. And Diogo Jota is the perfect example, according to Lutis. The boss explained, I think the beauty of being a front player now, it was like the first team yesterday. You've got three players there who've all played on each side of the pitch. Look at Jota who played through the middle yesterday. I suppose the front line of any elite team is quite versatile, in terms of where people operate. And that LLB something well strive to explore with Mateusz as well. Musilovsky wasn't the only youth team player to find himself with a seat on the first team plane this summer, with the likes of Jake Kane. Tyler Morton, Leighton Clarkson and Kai Gordon all jetting off into Europe in a bid to impress Klopp and his coaching staff. And despite it being only months old, Lutus hailed the impact of Liverpool's new £50 million AXA training centre for excelling the development across the youth setups. He said, being in the same building just allows things to be a lot more natural. A lot more easy, communication between the staff, obviously, when players move up and down that communication is there as well. The coaching staff are all in one building now. So we're able to speak regularly on what experiences the boys are getting and what they may need to work on. I think preseason shows how many boys can go up there and kind of equip themselves in a good way. It's only bricks and mortar, but I think what is important is the people. I think the more people you can get in the same place, the more conversations and the better the work that can be done.